and Marston, our Starline Marshall, gives the thumbs up to the drivers. And this is it, the big one, top 32, McKeever versus Bagsy. And here we go, no messing around, straight off the line and through the gears, and McKeever already starts to pull on Bagsy as they fire through. Bagsy now takes that inside line, nice initiation, Bagsy jumps straight up onto the door. That top place qualifying run for McKeever will be easy to chase around this circuit. Bagsy gets the transition time nicely as McKeever now dives into this long outside zone. He opens the door for Bagsy, Bagsy creeps up onto the door, a little wafer from McKeever there. Looks like he was going to hit the wall, but he avoided that contact. Bagsy sticks with him right through the center of the circuit. Time to transition well now as Bagsy takes another bite, another dive onto the side. McKeever into the wall, Bagsy into the wall. Both guys taking panels off the car as they come across the line. Oh, well, we expected a hot and heavy run. That's what we got. And you know what? There's some errors from both drivers across the run. We'll be able to break it down in the replay. A couple of hits where you can see the panels on the back of the car shredded. I don't think we're going to see any back panels on any cars no. by the end of tonight. That's for sure. Look to me, Bagsy just waited for McKeever to make the move on the initiation. Came in late on initiation, but made it work. Got into the pocket. McKeever's lead run has been, you know, laser focused from qualifying. Really solid here. Bagsy doing a good job in the chase run. Not over committing. You can also make contact with the lead car very easily here. So you don't want to throw it away that way. Look at this. Both cars very close close to the wall, McKeever a foot off the wall the whole way around there, which was really nice driving in that lead position. Bagsy in the pocket. This is where Bagsy, I think, makes a little error. He hesitates on the transition just a little bit. He backs off, hits the handbrake here, and when he gets back on it, the car is washing quite wide and he gets into the wall. So does McKeever. So judges might look at it like McKeever led Bagsy that direction, or both drivers made independent mistakes. Other than that, I think that was pretty solid from both drivers there. Yeah, exactly that, David. That's ex exactly what we expected from Dwayne McKeever, that clean lead line, but there were a few hiccups in there. He did hit the wall on that first outside zone as well, tagged the rear wheel on there, the, the car bobbled a little bit. Judges will be looking at every single mistake because these guys are going to be so close that one little bobble, one little mistake, that yeah. could knock well, you out Well, McKeever now, championship on the line. If he loses this battle, he's out of the championship race and will have to settle for third or fourth or whatever it may be in the championship. So he's got to beat Bagsy here and Bagsy's put in a phenomenal chase run. The spotters will be on the radio saying, Dwayne, this is the time to go for it. You've got to go close and he is going close. Big angle from McKeever on the, uh, in, the, in the chase position here. But Bagsy looks like he's got a little shallow angle but a little bit more pace. McKeever's going to have to start making a move and he does a phenomenal transition up onto the back bumper and gets into the pocket. Bagsy in that lead position doing no, nothing wrong at the moment. Look how, oh, but there's a mistake. Bagsy hits the wall a little too heavy but gets away with it. McKeever backs off but now jumps back up into the pocket. Just pieces of taillight flying all over the track as they run over their own debris. And McKeever just not quite having the proximity at the end but Bagsy making a big error towards the end of the run. So that one's going to be close. That's a very close battle there, David. Let's see a replay of that. There was, you know, Bagsy was absolutely clinical on some of those wall runs. He was right in the pocket. We know these GTX 6 chassis are short. They're hard to get onto the wall. Bagsy did a phenomenal job there of putting the car on the wall without making contact with the rear wheel. It was a nice lead line from Bagsy. There was that mistake, though, on that outside zone. Let's take a look back at the replay. Big handbrake drove for Bagsy, but he gets into the outside zone nice and early. McKeever takes that opportunity to dive onto the door. And the lead line from Bagsy was phenomenal. And it just opened the door, really, for McKeever to take that chase. Look at this. Boom. Nice transition from McKeever there on the handbrake as he dives into this zone. I think he had to do it. He lost yeah. to the ground over that first corner, so he got back into it. And this is really good for Bagsy here in the lead run. Right out in a very short wheelbase car to the wall, but he hits it just at the end. Heavy here. And this is a mistake. Look, he, he doesn't really affect the car massively. I think all that debris was from the signage rather than the car itself. Yeah. But McKeever loses a bit of ground at that point. You can see Paxi still shredding off the pieces of the sign. And McKeever gets back. This, for me, was another mistake from Bagsy as he comes through the last car here. It looks like he's just almost going to go into the wall to back off the angle a little bit. But this is super close. Very, very, very close. close battle between these two guys. McKeever's championship hopes are on the line. Let's see which way it goes. And he's still in the mix. Dwayne McKeever gets the win and goes to the top 16. Bagsy bounce. McKeever slots it into gear and we're ready to send him for the final time in 2024. The top 16 is underway. McKeever to lead in Rinton. Yeah, look at this. No messing around already. Look at Rinton going for the straight line approach. Jumps straight onto the rear corner of Dwayne McKeever. They both get into the outside zone. A little tussle onto the wall from both drivers. And now they start to pick up the throttle. They look for that transition. Come through and down. Good transition back from Rinton as McKeever leads him into this long outside side zone for a little shallow line there from Ritten and he's having to keep up with McKeever he's got the pace as they fire through the middle of the circuit the pyro erupts and now Ritten makes a big dive second to last outside zone time to make the move for Ritten and can he get onto the door of course he can dives once again back bumper to the wall across the line well, I'll tell you what, we are going to be here for a while because nobody's backing down right now as Rintanen comes in with a lot of aggression on McKeever and I think 
Rintanen's approach is right. He knows McKeever's got that lead run down. He knows he's top qualifier. He could risk it, and he did. Stayed as close as he could throughout the run. And I've got to say, not many mistakes in this one. No, not many mistakes at all, to be honest with you, Dave. A little bobble on outside zone one for both drivers, but nevertheless, it was very, very clean. And Rintanen maybe lost a little ground as they come down to the second to last outside zone. But apart from that, it was a good chase, but a very, very good lead. I don't think, I mean, when we get closer to the to, uh, to the top here, every driver here has obviously competed at this point, won a battle at this point, qualified at this point, so they all have this track dialed in. Now we're going to start to see drivers that aren't going to be able to win events, or win a battle rather, without pushing that little bit extra, and that's where the mistakes come from. In that particular battle, McKeever and Rintanen not pushing to a million percent there, just being smooth and excitable. And I tell you what, Rintanen now in the lead, McKeever has an opportunity, just a small one, to be super aggressive here, but hey, if you go too aggressive, you can throw it all away. Let's see what happens. This game of chess continues as Rintanen will lead in McKeever. Yeah, look at this bumper already down on McKeever's car as he pulled away from the line. They're messing around, a big flick from both guys. Look at McKeever. It matches the initiation of Yuha Rintanen and both into the outside zone. It's a beautiful lead line so far from Yuha Rintanen. And we look for that transition on the wall. It's absolutely textbook. And Dwayne McKeever deals with it. He'll dab with the foot brake, sets himself up nicely. Now on the throw. McKeever starts to find the side of that GR86. They're into the wall. And it's an absolutely beautiful tip for tap battle at the moment as they come through the center of the circuit. Good transition back. McKeever cannot be lost as Rintanen slows down. McKeever deals with it. And that is unbelievable driving from Dwayne McKeever. He tags the side. And the rear wheel Whoa. of Yuha Rintanen. McKeever nearly threw it away on the last zone. He went in a little too heavy. He needed the aggression, though. He, he did. He needed the I think aggression. he got a little overconfident. And you can see he's pumped up in the car, losing, losing the straps to get out and get the result. I'll tell you what, what a lead run from Yuha Rintanen, but it gave every opportunity to Dwayne McKeever to get as close and aggressive as possible. I've got to say, this initiation for me was risky. He went in there not sure what was going to happen and luckily for McKeever, Rintanen was on rails. He certainly was and he had that perfect lead line. It just encouraged a nice chase as well from Dwayne McKeever. Look at this as they come through him. A completely mirror image. Every single move that Rintanen made, McKeever was there with him, Dave, and it was just beautiful to you see. You are watching the best of the best here. Oh, the, without doubt. You try and t t show someone this five years ago that these drivers could do this you wouldn't have believed it you'd, you'd stand there with your jaw on the floor now we're seeing it run after Off run, run. Yeah. and battle after battle mckeever here i thought he was going to absolutely send them into the wall and somehow he locked the front brakes the back brakes everything and managed to hold it there but just at the end mckeever gets a little bit too anxious or maybe rinsen and touches the wall I think McKeever gets a little deep there and he goes, woo, and they both, a lot of drivers saying just at that point there, there's a lack of grip for some reason. So uh, I think they both uh, ended up in a, you know, I'll tell you, both great lead runs, more proximity than from McKeever on the chase run. That's how I'm seeing it. Yeah. But the judges are going to discuss it and see what they think of it. We don't make any decisions, guys. You know, we are very unimportant when it comes <laughs> to decision, but we give you our opinion. That's all we can do. And let's see if our opinion matches the opinion of the judges. Dwayne McKeever and Yuha Rinton. Look at that like little sly smile from Dwayne McKeever. A little <laughs> wink to the camera. And Yuha Rinton looking nervous. The Finnish fans. Well, they're nervous. These guys are ready to pull the track apart at the end of the night. All dressed ready. Look at this. Nerves. The nerves in the grandstands. I love to see it. And here we go. It's going to be the Irish or the Finnish going through to the top eight. Will it be McKeever? Will it be Yuha Rinton? Rinton doesn't put a foot wrong. McKeever a little bit more aggression. And it's Dwayne McKeever. Dwayne McKeever gets the win and goes to the top eight. And I think pretty obvious decision from where we're sitting. In. Marston, our Starline Marshall, gives the word. We're ready to kick off our top eight. And McKeever will kick it off as he always does with a big old flick into that first corner. Yeah, and here we go through the gears. No messing around. But look at this from Pascoli straight onto the back bumper. Down the inside he goes. Oh, and he matches the angle, but he carries a little bit too much. Now loses some ground. So Dwayne McKeever, as they come through that inside zone, they flick it back. And he's a little bit too shy. And he hits the wall as Kevin Pascoli makes big contact with the wall. He's going to try and reinitiate and get himself back into the fight. I think there could be damage on the car as Dwayne McKeever carries on his run, continues to lead them around the circuit. Pascal gets himself back into it. How he survived that one, I don't even know. They go for the wall, they look for that final outside zone, and onto the wall goes Dwayne McKeever and across the line. Oh. You don't, you don't want to see it. No. Not fall apart so early in the battle. I mean, I'm sure Pascalzi's car has taken a bit of a rattle there. Oh, he just got it all wrong, in. Yeah, he just took too much of a bite out of it, Dave. Watch this from initiation. Oh, that the, was brave. The way that went was on the inside. brave from Pascalzi there. But he had to back off. 
and I think he's going to have a big... We're going to see this from the other angle now. Watch Pascalti's car. How they try? He's in the wrong place altogether. Oh! That, that front wheel has got to have taken a big impact there, or the alignment or something. But he's gone back to the start line, so they're checking it out. But look at this. The camera's going to see a lot of Pascalti here. Oh! Oh, and he moved the wall again. Yeah, another driver. Touched the wall. Touched the wall. A bit of carbon Kevlar down there. If you we'll watch that one more time, just have a look at the other side of the Scalzi's car. Look at the the hit. This is a, this is a tough hit. Boom! Oh, and I had. It's, I'm, I'm just going to say he got back into this. Oh that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he was so he back clutch in, kicks it straight away. Clutch kicks it straight away. So we're back on the. I don't know. It has Scalzi's car been checked over? It looks like it has, and it looks like he's okay. Well, he said the alignment's off, but he's going to give it a go anyway. So here we are. Bravery or stupidity? You never know. You never know. You never know, but with 50,000 people looking down, you go, oh, we can fix it in the off-season. We'll give it a go. So Pascalti's going to lead in McKeever. We've done a what condition Pascalti's car is, but he's going for it anyway. Yeah, he's going to go for a big one here, and he flicks it in across the circuit. Now, will McKeever play it safe? Will he keep it clean? Will he just give him a good chase but not do too much? And I think that's what Dwayne McKeever's going to go for as they fire through. <laughs> Kevin Pascalti goes close to the wall once again. Now McKeever starts to make a dive. He doesn't want to get left standing. He doesn't want Pascalti to run away with this one too much, although he has a massive advantage already. And McKeever goes for the rear wheel. You can see Pascoli's car not 110% as he flicks through, looks for this outside zone. Dwayne McKeever gives him some room to manoeuvre once again. They get into the wall. A little bop on the brakes there for McKeever. He doesn't want to hit him too hard. Stamps his approval across the line, and both guys get a job done. Oh, I'll tell you what, Dwayne McKeever almost. Almost too much across the finish line, but I don't think Pascalzi's car was 100% there. And I'll also say that it's got to be a brave move for Pascalzi to do a lap like that yeah. in this arena with a car that definitely isn't 100%. And McKeever definitely backs off from the off here. He says, I'm not going to take it. He didn't know what Pascalzi would do in the first corner. I'll tell you what he did. He did okay. Pretty good lead run from Kevin Pascalzi. But he was, he was struggling. You could see on some of the transitions, Pascalzi was really fighting the car. Yeah, he certainly was, and it can't have been easy. And though, he goes back, he still on, the goes back again, on the wall again, yeah. Where he crashed the first time, which was even funnier, because I was like, he'll definitely stay. No, he's going back no, there again. No, he's going back, there, right again. back yep. there again. Look at this from McKeever. So let's see what happens. These onboards are just unbelievable, especially just when they're Just check this door last door. corner, and let's see what happened here, because McKeever definitely has a check up here. So, so uh, Pascalti goes to the wall, right to the edge of the track, and he's hitting the wall. He's kind of slow there. McKeever taking risks here. Probably risks he doesn't need today. Does? Yeah, look. Pascalti hits the wall, McKeever gets stalled up. So I didn't see Pascalti hit the wall the first time around. So and, uh, I was wondering, was the way McKeever just, you know, losing it for himself there? But let's see which way the judges go. And it's the obvious decision going through to the top four is Dwayne McKeever getting the win, going through to the top four, and that big collision with the wall from uh, Kevin Pascalti on the first one. All geared up for our first semi final of the night. Stakes couldn't be higher. Now they're high, Dave. They this are, is, this they is for all the marbles now to get yourself into the final, guarantee a trophy if you win this battle. Guaranteed first or second. Here we go, McKeever revs it up, comes off the clutch, Vyansek's with him. This one is going to be fireworks as the Irishman leads in Vyansek into the first corner. Yeah, look at this, Vajcek does that signature move, that little dive down the inside, onto the wall they go, into the pocket, but now McKeever starts to drive away, looks like he has a little bit of pace dialed into this car, oh, a little wobble for Vajcek as he avoids the wall. Now, that signature dive once again into outside zone four, he's glued to the side of Dwayne McKeever, and McKeever keeps it clean and off the wall as they fire through, they look for that touch and go and they nail him no mistake this time for Vajcek super close absolutely glued a little tag onto the door a tag onto the wall from Akiva they both get into the final outside zone wheel to wheel across the line oh. It's knife edgy, and it's knife edge from start to finish. The Irish believe McKeever has got the advantage. The Polish believe Vyansek has got the advantage. And we have no idea, but we're going to try and break this one down. Vyansek's move here on the first corner is exceptional, but he bounces into the wall, but it's okay. It doesn't affect the lead car. Gets with Dre McKeever here. This is a mistake from Vyansek. Transitions early, it goes too early. Has to back out. Changes direction last moment, but he gets back on the door of Dwayne McKeever. He doesn't let the Irishman out of his sight as they go onto the wall, and McKeever could be wider here. Could be more aggressive, but he plays it safe not to bury the car on the wall. And Vyansek takes advantage, gets up on the door and puts the work in as they come through the center section of the course. As they transition back, look at these scenes. This is drifting in 2024, folks. Have a look. Breathe it in. This is what it's all about. Unbelievable.
absolutely unbelievable. Well, we get to do it all over again. A few more times yet, Dave, before we get to go home, because they're back on the line. Yes, now here we go. Vicek I'm enjoying it now. We're wound up and ready here. I hope you guys at home are enjoying this just as much as we are, because this is what it's all about. Vicek in the lead. McKeever's car barely held together with hopes and dreams as they come down the straight. McKeever goes for the big dive and makes it. Onto the door goes Dwayne McKeever. Vicek goes to the wall, and here we go. Now the fight's on. As McKeever gets into the pocket, Vicek up to the wall, and a transition on the wall. McKeever and Vicek perfect so far. McKeever fires in big angle from Fjernsic but somehow McKeever stays in it and on the door and this is as close as it's going to get as they transition back. One more switch and both make it through unscathed as they go back to the wall. Fjernsic perfect in the lead. McKeever up onto the door and this one is as close as it gets for a spot in the final. Take a bow Peter Fjernsic and Dwayne McKeever because that is how it's done. Unbelievable. Just no I'm words. Speechless. No words. Speechless. And every time you put any surface, any track, anything out there, any these conditions. guys, it doesn't matter. These guys will step up and smash it at the park every single round. I need to see the replay of this day because it was just incredible. No mistake, really, from either guy. Let's be honest. No, I, I didn't see anything. I mean, there's a couple of... This moment here from both drivers in the chase, the wall, was a little back-off moment, but other than that, I mean, I really thought McKeever, and he does dive a little bit early and a little bit soon, but he, he slides back into the pocket. Look at the proximity. You know, he touched Peter Vinesek's car out the window. Unbelievable stuff. And there was no mistake here. Look at this dive. Boom, straight down the inside from McKeever. The beautiful stuff. Incredible. Maybe there, a small wobble. We're splitting hairs because these guys are so good. You're just trying to find any little mistake that either of them are making. Well, the decision has been made by the judges. It's for a spot in the final, the big one, the finale. Who is going to be in that final? And it's Dwayne McKeever. Dwayne McKeever goes to the final. He jumps out of his own skin. Because finally McKeever has made the final, no mechanical issues, and he's done it. He's beaten Peter Vjainsek, who will get a chance to contend for third and fourth place on the podium thing. And Dwayne McKeever and James Dean, who have battled each other in Ireland, in the UK, in Europe, in many pubs up and down the tip of Europe. <laughs> They're now going to battle in the biggest stage of them all, as Dwayne McKeever leads. He's the higher qualifier. He's won the qualifying showdown for the perfect event. He just has the small task of beating James Dean. James Dean said, I came back this year. I missed this event last year, and I'm winning the thing. And remember, if Laurie Heinen's engine had given up 10 seconds earlier, Dean, well, this could have been for the championship, but now it's for second in the championship. And McKeever and Dean will know that. They've been informed behind the scenes. This one is for a huge amount of championship points. Marston gives the word. The last two runs of the night. The last two runs of the year. McKeever to lead in Dean. Here we go. No messing around for Dwayne McKeever as he flicks that car across the circuit. Look at the straight line approach from James Dean. He already gets into it, but he gets into the wall, disposes of some body panels, and now hunts down the side of the Northern Irishman as they fire through. Dean goes for a brave transition. He goes for it. He looks for the side. Both guys touch the wall. There's a wobble on a waiver and some lost ground from James Dean as McKeever stays rock steady. He now flicks the car across the circuit towards the wall. Dean shortcuts it, makes up that lost ground, looks for the side of that 180SX. The last outside zone approaches and they're door to door. Oh. Well, that was a calm one. No, nothing too much risk there. No, not a lot. Oh, my goodness. Nothing left. I mean, there was just in the wall, on the door. They have mastered this track now. This is the best two. And even Dean goes in the wall and loses a bit of his car on the first. McKeever goes in the wall as well. They're just pushing so hard now, Ian. They certainly are. And it was McKeever's bumper that came off and went under the back of James Dean's car and got spat out. Unbelievable. This was just incredible. James Dean timed this transition perfectly. Both of them did. And they get into it. But then there was a little bit of lost ground. James Dean had to shallow up the angle and then make that fight back up onto the door. This wasn't easy for Dean. This wasn't a walk in the park. But he certainly managed to get there, that's for sure. And then he pulled the fight after this. Little touch and go right in the middle of the circuit. Big transition, very fast. Dean slots his car into formation. And then he fights McKeever the whole way to the finish line. Unbelievable stuff.
Well, one more run to go, potentially, to decide the winner of round six. Oh, look at that contact from Dean as well, right across the line, rear wheel to God, rear wheel. Holding nothing back, holding oh. nothing back here. It could be the last run of 2024, and it is for second in the championship. James Dean versus Dwayne McKeever to finish us off here in Poland. I'll tell you what, this one is a huge, huge 50 seconds for both of them. James Dean in the leading position, McKeever in the chase. Dean going big and wild at the start. McKeever waits and now McKeever goes. Yeah, McKeever waits for him to get himself set up. Now goes for it, now dives down. And James Dean perfectly on the outside zone. Tickles the back bumper along the wall, but doesn't do too much. Now flicks through front bumper onto the wall. A little moonwalk, a little back step for James Dean. But he's perfect on that line. And now that opens the door for Dwayne McKeever as he glues that 186 to the door the whole way around the outside zone. James Dean goes for it. He fires the car across the circuit and absolutely fires in to Dwayne McKeever as he's wheel to wheel, bumper to bumper. Both guys shredding, they fire on the angle across the line. Oh God, there's nothing left. There is nothing left in this event. We've seen it all from start to finish. And I'll tell you what, those two finalists right now, the best we've seen on the track all weekend. Unbelievable, it showed what a final. What a Sometimes final. you look at that final and say it's never going to live up to the hype. Boy, did it live up to the hype. Oh, Unbelievable. Did, Ian, I am not trying to call that one. That <laughs> is far too close for me. No, nope, nor I am I. not getting involved in this one because that, to me, there was moments of brilliance left and right. Well, Judge is going to break this one down, but and they got some work to do. I certainly have got some work to do. I'm just taking a look back at the replay and this lead from James Dean was so, so good and it just encouraged a perfect chase from Dwayne McKeever. McKeever was glued to the side of James Dean's S15 the whole way around. No separation, no backing down. Dwayne McKeever wanted it more than ever. Look at this from McKeever. He couldn't have been closer, Dave, if he tried. Well, I'll tell you what. I've got to say, from start to finish, this event has been amazing. Yeah. The final has been amazing. The results have been unpredictable, but amazing. I think Laurie Heinen deserves that championship. I think everyone who's watched the championship would agree with that. But boy, do we get treated to some bonus time after that, because Vyansek and LZ, McKeever and Dean just brought the fight battle after battle. And I mean, there's nothing left at the back of the car, the front of the car. I guarantee you there's not much left in general <laughs> no. for any of these. And the pyro, look at the setup, look at the crowd, look at the phones, look at the lights. I mean, this is just wild. And this is drifting. This is a sport that started off from people skidding around in a car park. And here we are in the biggest, most expensive car park in the world. I mean, they turned into a circuit. And, you know, following Taylor Swift, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Harry Styles. But I'll tell you what, none of them have put in as good a performance or as much energy as Dwayne McKeever and James Dean have to be top step on the podium tonight. The results are going to drop in very shortly. We're going to know who's won this. We're going to know who's taken second in the championship. And I'll tell you what, right now, it could go either way. It certainly could go either way, and the judges are still trying to work it out, Dave. They're still looking at the replays. This one, I don't think, was as clear-cut as it seemed. Either way, the Irish fans are going to return back to Ireland happy because one Irishman will be on the top step of the podium. I know, I know, for sure. That's what you're doing the well, it looks like we might have a decision dropping in from our judges. Oh. Our scores in. It looks like the scores are going in. Scores are going in. Here we go. Are the scores? We don't know. We don't know if the scores are going. Are the scores in? They're in. They're Here in. We go. Here we go. The winner of round six of Driftmasters is Dwayne McKeever. Dwayne McKeever wins the final round of Driftmasters. He's done it. He's had a hard year. He fell in Hungary with mechanical failure, but he's back in Poland, and it's the biggest win of his career. And James Dean says, Dwayne, you've won it. He's, he can't believe it. For four years, he's been waiting for this moment, and he's got it.